Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the dancing queen himself, Mr. Julian Clary. How kind, thank you. Yes, you spend 20 years trying to make people laugh, then you realize you're actually a dancer. <laughs> Life's full of surprises. <laughs> but I'm here now anyway, bespoke Nancy boy and taker of cock up arse. <laughs> I used to be the Queen Mother's favorite. You were a heterosexual couple there. I can tell by the beige jumper. You're having a real night out, aren't you? <laughs> Quite late for you. I expect you normally stay home and eat food covered in breadcrumbs. <laughs> um... <laughs> what's your name? <laughs> Keith, of course it is. <laughs> Keith and... Natalia, where did you meet Keith, Natalia? At work. I'm seeing computers. Am I wrong? <laughs> I am wrong. Sorry, where did you, where, where, what work do you do? In a cruise ship. Now you're talking my language. <laughs> oh, it's lovely to see you. I've just popped in, actually. I'm on my way home um, from my evening classes. I'm studying the history of homosexuality from caveman to Dale Winton. <laughs> From Homo erectus to Homo disappointus. <laughs> Apparently, the caveman was an unthinking brute whose only interest in life, apart from food, was raw animal sex. And if you're going to make an animal raw during sex, for goodness sake, draw the curtains and turn up the stereo first. <laughs> the, um... Have you peaked already? <laughs> Charles Demarge, the first recorded incident, apparently, Keith, of man-on-man -man action <laughs> wasn't on a cruise ship. What was your cruise ship called? You've been on a few. Just give me one. What? The Inspiration. <laughs> Thank you, God. Uh, no, Keith, the first recorded incident was in Pompeii in the year 605 BC. Two local chaps, allegedly Romulus and Remus, or as they were also known, Big Dickus and Fuck Me Hardian. <laughs> they were mincing round Pompeii Market, um, enjoying the sunshine and admiring the Satsumas, <laughs> when things took an unexpected turn. <laughs> and uh, only a little fragment of a poem survives from Romulus to Remus, which goes like this. I walked towards the river and down the river bank. I thought of you for 15 minutes. <laughs> and then I had a da 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 <laughs> Can you keep your legs slightly closer together? <laughs> slightly disconcerting. Right, well, here we are. It's huge, isn't it? Can you hear me at the back? Yes. You're receiving me at the rear. <laughs> it's kind of a level I work on, nothing too highbrow. So, the inspiration, what was your function on that ship? In the casino, our roulette, which is French for feminine hygiene. <laughs> I know that for a fact. Right, well, we'll press on now. I'm a press on kind of comedian. You've heard of press on towels. <laughs> Same thing. And um, now it's, it's comic aid, but the next act is not strictly within the category of comedy. Perhaps he's been on a cruise ship, I don't know. He's, he's a mind bender, I'm told. So, <laughs> I should be watching from the wings. <laughs> Would you please put your hands together for the lovely Derren Brown.